Hello and welcome to my next webinar. In this webinar I'd like to talk about um, enabling embargoes using DSpace 5.5. To follow along um, you're welcome to go to this link wiki.lib.sun.ac.za uh, and then click here on the R guide link and then you scroll down to customization now in this instance the um, embargo is mostly um, managed by the librarians so I've put the uh, customization of that in the operational guide so you click on the operational guide there and then you click on the embargo index there and then the actual embargo link there alright so before beginning I just want to mention that um, embargoes are a risk um, if you do not do this properly uh, your embargoes might be available publicly so I'm just warning you that you proceed at your own risk and that we cannot accept any responsibility for data loss or corruption and before you um, enable embargoes it's best to test this embargo and become ex intimately familiar with how it works on your development system or spare infrastructure Okay, um, the ability embargo, to embargo the items was introduced with DSpace 1.8x and then radically modified with DSpace version 3x. Um, and now with um, um, 5.5, um, embargoes are now activated during submission. Uh, and that submission allows you to have a simple or advanced form which I'll go through later on um, and then there on the point four or paragraph four um, if you want to do retro retrospective embargo and activation and deactivation um, you need to use item and collection permissions which is called policy management with DSpace uh, and that um, I will do a video of later on and then once you have the embargoes enabled you want to enable the request to copy function as well and I'll have a video of that as well alright there were um, there was an embargo routine or process um, with DSpace versions 1.8 and 3 so to migrate those embargoes to the new embargo system uh, I have a wiki page there the pre 3.0 embargo migration routines and then um, I've also added on the, what was discussed on the mailing list people wanted reports of the embargoes um, and there are some scripts and tips on how to create reports for the embargoes okay so for the for this um, uh, webinar or um, tutorial I'm going to click on the dspace 5x link and uh, set up my local dspace uh, instance to use embargoes again uh, just a warning about the change of embargoes uh, the fact that there's now a basic and advanced policy method for embargoes and yeah. so the first step is to decide whether you want to use the simple or advanced embargo form we have elected to use the simple one um, and uh, to enable or disable that we have to modify the dspace config file so we're going to log into our server, my local server, uh, and then we're going to try and modify that. So let me log in there quickly. If you remember from the previous videos, this is the address, and then 09 Ubuntu 09 to log in. Okay, so now we're going to modify the um, DSpace config file, but we're going to modify the um, source uh, part. Um, going to modify it in the source code and then recompile so we want to look for that step that says enable advanced form and make sure that it is not enabled enable add advanced okay so here we are here it is here so <coughs> this defaults to false so we're going to leave it like that 
uh, to, leave, to, to use the uh, simple form because it defaults to false there. So we just leave that as it is. Alright, then the next step um, the next step then is to modify the item submission XML file to enable uh, these uploads. Okay, before we go there, I just want to discuss the two options there. Um, there's one option where you simply uh, have what they call the access step and that embargoes the whole item in metadata, everything included. And then there's an upload with embargo step, which just does uh, restrictions on the bitstream level. Um, so for our repository, we do restrictions simply on the bitstream level. So um, I'm just going to demonstrate that. And here's the uh, configuration example. But let's do it on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a newly installed system. And we do this to modify the submission item submission XML file. And we copy and paste that in there. And now we must look for the default steps and uh, enable under the default submissions there uh, step definitions ID collection we'll go further uh, ID sample okay uh, further, it's quite a, there's quite a lot of information in this. Yeah, so we want to look at the traditional submission process, well, the default one, uh, which is defines the default uh, thing. So we go beyond this processing, uh, we go beyond the, this progress bar. Uh, step two, okay, step two, we get to describe the item. Step three, now this is if you're going to embargo the whole item, this is the step you enable by removing the, that those comment that um, those uh, characters there and removing these characters there that will enable that but we're not going to do by item access we're going to do it by upload so uh, we want to enable this one yeah we want to enable the upload with embargo upload with embargo features and then yeah there delete that but then it says yeah we must disable the previous one so we disable this step here using the same um, characters there and finish off there by closing it there so now this upload step without embargo is disabled now we upload with embargo and this is enabled so there we are the default that's done so now all submissions will have an embargo uh, an embargo feature for setting a date limit on bitstreams so we just save that with control O and we write that out. Okay, so let's see an example there. I commented it out step four, the upload there, it's commented out there, you see there. I commented out with those two. Uh, and then I removed those there to enable um, sorry there, I removed those there to enable this step. The upload with items. There. Then of course you rebuild the web apps to enable this. Uh, I'm going to um, uh, leave that as an exercise for you, but this is the way to set up the, uh, um, the embargo. Then um, I suggest look at the um, leaseface documentation. It has uh, um, it has um, examples of. Uh, screenshots, sorry, it has screenshots of uh, how to use this embargo um, or how the submission process will look. So um, if we scroll down there, they've got the embargo, DSpace embargo functionality, they talk about it there, uh, DSpace config, enable there, then enabling the form, and the difference between the. So here is the screenshot uh, with the access step. And you see here, it simply says embargo until this date, and you must put it in that format, and it embargoes the whole item. Okay, so what we've done is the embargo with upload step. This one is enabled here now. Now we 
when you upload the file there you're required to select the file and then give it a description and then during the upload also give it a, a date and up to when the, you give it date until it's embargoed until that date and then you can give a reason for the embargo there as well so we've selected this one when you do the the upload step there you see the upload step in green that is when uh, if you want to embargo the item you put in the date there if you don't want to embargo the item leave the date blank leave the reason blank and you carry on okay um, again there's some description there with the advanced form uh, but I'm not going to um, bother you with the advanced form if you want to use the advanced form once you become familiar with it you're welcome okay so that uh, I think concludes the embargo uh, enabling the embargo um, to embargo an item um, I will do uh, another video of um, as I said I will do these videos of the retrospective embargo activation and then I'll do a video of uh, enabling uh, the request to copy function just for those um, who have old systems and are um, thinking of um, moving to 5.5 um, there I've added a page for how to first of all check and lift the old embargoes all right and then run the embargo migration routine here right but to be sure that everything is working correctly um, I suggest that you try here yeah, with these embargo reports try and extract a embargo report this code might be outdated because now we have dspace uh, 5x not 3x so um, if anybody out there has an updated SQL query for that that'd be great um, I will um, add it to the wiki if they send it to me and then for dspace versions 18x there you can um, find embargo by that okay All right thank you very much and that concludes my uh, demonstration or uh, tutorial on how to enable embargoes with dspace 5.5 thank you Bob. goodbye